Hey, Joanne. So thanks for your question. You tell me that um, you would like to lose weight, but you don't want to exercise and you would rather sit on your couch and uh, knit. So as get the feeling that you just told me you really want to pay off your house, but you're not willing to get a second job. You're not willing to do what it takes to earn the money to pay off that house. So we have to have realistic exploits to go with our goals and we have to be able to have actions that match those to reach those goals um, I'm gonna start off by telling you you do not have to exercise in order to lose weight I'd like you to and I'll get that to that later but you do not have to exercise in order to lose weight um, what you have an issue with right now is consuming far too many calories um, so what I want you to do right now is decide what weight you'd like to be and I'm gonna give you a little formula um, say I don't know what you'd like to be, but we're just going to guess 150 pounds. If you would like to weigh 150 pounds, I would like you to throw a zero on the end of that number. That gives you 1,500 calories. And that's how many calories I'd like you to consume each day. Easy, right? That's a really simple formula. And I base that on the fact that our body burns about 10 calories per day per pound of body weight. So if you'd like your body to be 150 pounds, if you ate 1,500 calories a day, your body would eventually shrink down to that number. Now, we burn calories doing a lot of things, so pumping blood through our, our body, digestion, every motion we make burns, uh, requires energy and burns calories. So just getting around, doing the daily stuff we do, you're, if you wanted to be 150 cal pounds, you'd consume 1,500. Um, if you wanted to get there quicker, you'd exercise. But uh, this is the smart thing you got to know. So... 1,500 calories, it's actually a heck of a lot of food if you're eating wisely. So I always tell folks there's the smart way to consume 1,500 calories, and then there's the dumb way to consume 1,500 calories. The dumb, dumb way would to be to eat three large chocolate chip muffins every day. So you could actually do that and lose a heck of a lot of weight. Um, but if you tried it, I'm pretty sure within a few hours you'd be hungry, you'd be tired, you'd have a headache, you'd be miserable, you'd have no nutrition, and you'd quit. You would quit very, very fast. So instead of doing that, what I'd like you to do is consume 1,500 calories the smart way. The smart way has you eating tons of fruits and vegetables, some lean proteins, um, low-fat dairy products, and then whole grains. So whole grains are a great choice, um, but if you ate them all day, you might struggle because um, they're a higher calorie choice than things like pears and asparagus. So. Um, I, I look at vegetables and fruit as kind of um, like buying a purse on sale. So uh, a donut or cheesecake would be like buying a coach bag. So you could have one piece for 500 calories or you could buy one purse, one coach bag for $500. Instead, if you went to Old Navy, you could buy 50 purses for $500, right? Right, and that's, that's produce. You can get so much produce for 500 calories. If you really want to fill up your tummy, Produce is a place to go. Grilled chicken, shrimp, lobster, um, any type of lean protein you like works for me. But that's a smart way to do it. So I would clean your closets, your cabinets, your fridge of all the yucky stuff in your house. And I know it's there. And sometimes as moms, we justify, oh, well, the kids have it. Well, your kids don't need junk food. It's not benefiting them. It's not benefiting you nor your husband. It doesn't even benefit the dog to have unhealthy food. So if you have temptations around that aren't going to get you where you need to go, get rid of it. And everybody in your entire family will benefit from that healthy lifestyle, whether they have a weight issue or not. Got it? Got it. So how do you maintain or how do you monitor 1,500 calories? Well, you go online or you get on your phone and you download an application like Calorie Count or MyFitnessPal, and then every single bite you eat or drink you take, you, uh, you plug it into the phone or, or your computer and you tell it what you're eating and it'll help keep you on track. And somebody like, oh, wow, wow, well, I don't want to do a food Log, well, you already told me you don't want to exercise, so let's, let's get on something here. And if monitoring your caloric intake is, is your big effort for the day, let's go with that right now. So um, do not drink your calories. Waters, unsweetened teas, coffee, fine. Don't have a, a mocha chocolata at Starbucks or any of the co other coffee shops. Don't do that. That's something heavy people do. Um, cut out the nonsense. Cut out lots of sugar. Cut out lots of starchy carbs that have no great benefit to you. Eat like a healthy person. Eat a lot of healthy food. You can do that for 1,500 calories or whatever your goal weight is and, um, and be smart. So you, it takes as much energy at the McDonald's drive-thru to say, give me a grilled chicken salad as it does give me a Big Mac. So 
please be wise and choose the grilled chicken salad. Got it? Got it. I know you do. Okay, and so here's the thing behind exercises. Sure, you can be very, very, very skinny and thin and trim and all of those things without exercise, but you can't be resilient. So um, if you and your fit twin, the identical size, get in a fender bender and you get rear-ended, you, without exercising, are more likely to experience whiplash or slip discs or any of those things. You're not resilient with exercise. And I, I tell folks, it's don't, don't live to work out. Let's work out to live. Let's work out to make our life better. So clearly you just haven't found the type of exercise that suits you. Maybe you need to do it with a friend. Maybe it's a social thing. Or maybe you just haven't tried enough options. So, um, if your local gym doesn't cut it, that's fine. Try a Pilates video at home. Get on your Xbox or your Wii and try a dancing video. Um, go walk the hills or your na around your neighborhood with your friend. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. You just got to keep trying until you find something. And the, and the end game is not only do you want to feel good about yourself and have a lot of energy to do what you need to do, but you do have children. I know you, Joanne, and you have um, a long life to live, and you've got a lot of important things to do, and those people around you need you and want you there. So, you know, that heart of yours, uh, irreplaceable. You've got to take care of it. So um, go ahead and, and start with the eating habits and, and, and see how that works. But I want you to find a way to be committed to exercise of any sort. Just, just start with something. Start with five minutes a day. And um, keep looking until you find something that you truly enjoy. But that's how to make a real difference in your life. And that's how to keep the weight off, you know. I mean, if you're, I don't know what you weigh. We'll say if you're 200 pounds now and you drop down to 1,500 calories a day, or 1,500 calories a day, you're going to be in the negative 500 calories every day. 3,500 calories makes up one pound. So if you cut down to 1,500 calories, you will automatically lose one pound every single week. Now, if you add an hour's worth of exercise and burn about 500 calories, you'll start losing one pound every three and a half days. That's nice, huh? Yeah, so that will exercise does speed up the rate at which you lose weight, and um, it'll give you all those other great benefits of strength and stamina, flexibility, resiliency, and so on. So I'm so happy you came to me because I do care about you, and I always want to help when I can. And... Um, Get your calorie count applicator application, start managing that, and uh, let me know if you need any more help. Get to it. Get to work.